Good afternoon everybody, how are you all getting on? Hopefully you're doing well. Still in the lockdown. Famous last words really. Um, yeah, I don't really know what's sort of going on with that. I don't really kind of watch the news every day but I find it very depressing. <laughs> yeah, just sort of get snippets of what's going on here and there but Nipping out to get some shopping. It's quite a good opportunity to stick a bit of charge in the bike really as well. In the battery. The old Triumph is running in, running nice. Anything I've noticed is the brakes are a bit squeaky. The comment of one of the subscribers saying that it might there was a recall apparently to do with the brakes. I'd like to think that, that was already, you know, that was already done prior to you know having the bike delivered but you never know you never know i'll ask him anyway yeah the more the more i go out on this bike the more i kind of i seem to be gelling with this which is good be a bit worried if you didn't wouldn't you <laughs> yeah. hello sir <laughs> One thing that everybody seems to look at this bike. <laughs> yeah, so um don't really know what's going on, like I say with I know we're we're out essential, you know, for your essential shopping but going to certainly carry on for a while. Oh, the old nationals. Beautiful. <laughs> hey! She's lively. She's bloody lively. Soaks up the bumps. Absolutely soaks them up. Oh, better slow down a tad. Like I say, after a test ride in this a while back in the summer, I couldn't resist buying one. Couldn't resist it. a little nip out on the thousand the other day and uh, must admit that did feel a bit strange I mean it's going to admittedly you're in a completely different riding position and it's a completely different style of bike completely different performance chalk and cheese really Beautiful. No problems with the overtake. Oh. It's got to go easy with the revs a little bit. Still running her in, still running her in. Be nice to be able to open her up a bit. Well, I'm fairly keen to get her running. Still see where there was a bit of salt and grit on the roads. Hey! The brakes are awesome. <sighs> bit of a dodgy corner here. Get people cut across here in front of you. I've had it before. Once you've had it happen once, kind of jars you off that little that corner there. He's a beaut. I tell you, it's definitely money worth well spent. Definitely money well spent. I know I keep saying it, but I cannot grumble one little bit. One little bit. And again, I said about the customer service from Triumph. Highly recommended. 
highly, highly recommended. Stay there, sir. Ooh. Yeah, I think that when they do the first step, I don't think I don't think they actually do that much. That's going to be oil filler. Probably tighten the chain up. The usual. The usual. Might have to go for the overtake, sir. No problems whatsoever. Breeze past. It's a good test for the suspension, this old road here. Very bumpy road. <coughs> Just soaks it up. Absolutely soaks it up. We have to go for another little over cheeky overtake. Make a bloody good commuter bike this. Not really tried it in the Fulton through traffic or whatever, but I should think that'd be pretty good because the bars aren't that wide. Uh, the mirrors, yeah, not like some bikes where your mirrors are poking right out and <laughs> looking forward to the summer definitely looking forward to the summer I think these tyres the Pirelli Super Courses they're going to be like glue they're like glue once you get heat into them which will really not be a problem on this so it's a bit chilly today Air temperature four and a half degrees. Uh, not got that light on there, warning about slippery ice or whatever that said. Surface. This just soaked up these bloody bends though. Cool. Just love that noise, I love the noise, both the intake, the air intake and the, the exhaust note. Beautiful. So comfortable as well, just so comfortable. pull over in a minute and have a wander around the machine. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, brake squeaking again there. I'm going to have to mention it. I reckon this is a proper wheelie machine as well. Not that run one for wheeling, but I just think there'll be a few people out there who can wheelie this like an absolute beauty. I say it's not hovering or anything like that because I'm not getting the revs right up high, so it's kind of just playing with the old throttle, really. people out and about for their daily exercise and a walk with the old dog
Beautiful. Down a tad, down into the 30s. It's very important, really, to try and stick to the speed limits where you, you know there's a reason for it. <laughs> Blood. Oh god. I might have to no. I think it's had a lot of water run off the fields. I've had the warning come back up again. Risk of, sur of surface ice. It certainly feels bloody cold. It certainly feels bloody cold. Uh, I'm going to have to go a different route, I think. There's a bit of a flood further up the road there, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to mess about. So yeah, if you're interested in, in anything motorcycle related then feel free, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell Like I say, there'll be the, lots more interesting content coming, especially through the summer Maybe the odd track day here and there, or, or just a general ride out It'd be much appreciated if you hit that subscribe button <laughs> right. I'm gonna have to go to the other Tesco's. Let's pull in here, I'll have a wonder show you around the bike. Those brakes are definitely squeaking. They're definitely squeaking. Whether or not it's just the running period or I don't know. I don't know. Oh, let's get some air. Oh, well here she is anyway, the Triumph 765 Street Triple RS, absolute beauty, like I say, if you ain't, you ain't got your ass out for a test ride, I'd highly recommend doing it, highly recommend doing it, got the old tail tidy on there, had that put on extra, looks much better with that on, the, 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 the standard uh, tail piece comes down to kind of like here it looks pretty horrendous really but yeah that's that's the that's the only extra I had on the bike <laughs> sounds absolutely gorgeous doesn't it <laughs> beautiful as we say in Norfolk <laughs> I love them running lights as well the daytime running lights absolutely gorgeous all the braided lines as well here braided lines same on the rear, Brembo calibre on the rear as well. Yeah, oil in suspension, bling bling. All of the goodies, all of the goodies. MCS uh, master cylinder, adjustable here. Yeah, that's for highly, highly uh, useful if you're going to track it. You get a bit of brake fade, you can adjust this. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Right, that's enough of that. Let's hop back on and. Uh, Oh, better go and pick up the old sharpen. Try and keep a bit of heat in the tyres. Let 
bit of your sheet there. <laughs> We're not sheep shaggers in Norfolk, honestly. That's Wales, isn't it? <laughs> She's going to be running in no time. So we're still in sport mode. I haven't really tried any of the other the other modes. I must admit, yeah, actually, I, on the test ride I had, I did try. I tried the track mode. I think what that will do is the the ABS that will probably disable that. But there is a customizable <coughs> rider mode as well on this. If you wanted to turn your ABS off, you can. I don't know if you can see me on this camera. How's that? Maybe a better view. I think that moved a bit in the wind. Yeah, give it a nip. Yeah, well anyway, I'm not going to go on a different route now to go to uh, get my shopping. And uh, like I say, if you haven't subscribed, hit the, consider hitting that subscribe button. Be much appreciated. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. So yeah, take care. Speak to you soon.